What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Since my Halloween ends in this video here again today and talking about the idea of Michael Myers uttering a word in this movie. Um, I've talked about this plenty of times in the past, but I just want to reiterate how I think that if he were to speak, you are going to be uh, diminishing a big part of this character. I think it's I think the idea of him just speaking is about as is about as disgusting or cringe to me now as when i think about the time he cried in halloween 5 it's like no don't speak michael and i'm not saying that there's anything necessarily wrong with him saying one word but if it teeters into full-fledged sentences and something much more than just you know how he screams die at dr loomis and depending on what cut you watch of the rob zombie halloween 2 if it teeters into anything more than that, okay, that, that that's too far. Um, even still to this day, I can't believe he spoke in that movie. Um, I just think there's something that's pretty contained and something that's been upheld with him not speaking that to make him speak kind of then takes him down a notch and removes him from that higher level that he is at compared to the victims he's stalking. There's always been this, this sense of being ahead of everybody else because of the fact that he's not speaking we know he's this murderous killing machine he has all this mystery surrounding him and then you know to take his notch down a peg by having him speak i think is what will be done if you have him say a word even two or even teetering into full-fledged sentences uh i mean could you even imagine something like that michael myers uttering a full-fledged sentence to someone and i know i've done a video talking about the idea of us seeing him in a flashback with his parents i think i would tweak that and say that he shouldn't even speak there he shouldn't have any words there i think you should also uphold that even in his youth if you explore that again because we know they they didn't even have him speak it as a child in the original he was always this blank child and a blank pale emotionless child that didn't say a single word we haven't heard him say a single word when he was a kid we haven't heard him say a single word as an adult so if you do a flashback like that where we go back to the knife judith was killed i would i would rather see his parents interrogate him i'd rather see his parents you know try to get answers from him and he's just unresponsive thus also making that moment a lot more intense for them also making you as a viewer a lot more compelled to keep watching because while you might feel like you know he's not going to talk the way it's all done has you on the edge are they actually going to make michael myers talk is he going to talk you're just waiting to see you know you have these close-ups on his lips and the, again the the emotionlessness on his face maybe there's signs that he's going to talk and he just doesn't you know something like that to tease the audience because i think there's something to that it needs to be uphold by him not talking surrounding all this mystery with him and i think having him talk just kind of diminishes him takes him down a notch brings him closer down to the level of the people he's stalking and michael myers has always seemed like this larger than life entity similar to the other horror icons that have not spoken like uh jason Voorhees, outside of of course yes in his youth we know that these both both of them have spoken in their youth but i think there's just something magical about them not talking that makes them a lot more intimidating so i don't want to take away from that in any way now again if they have him say one word i'm not going to come on here and knock the movie for it i just think that a lot of people all in all are against the idea of having the shape speak in any way most people or some people i'll just say i think are against how he was speaking in rob zombies halloween film and the fact that he uttered one word still to them is blasphemy and so i don't think you should explore that again here if anything you know he gives us these classics classic uh heavy breathing things that he likes to do under that mask maybe in the flashback that i'm thinking of them potentially doing in this movie if you jump to the night judith was killed and they go inside and they're questioning michael about what happened to your sister did you kill your sister you can have more than him just being silent and teasing us with his lips starting to move and shake he could be doing something that is you know just a lot of silence mixed with that iconic heavy breathing that we know he still does to this day under that mask he's being asked all these questions from his parents and all we hear all they hear is this heavy breathing that's very unsettling it's very unnerving 
it has you concerned about this boy because there's clearly something wrong here uh it puts you in the it's it's putting you also in the shoes of these parents who have just come home found one of their children outside with a bloody knife go inside find the other child upstairs dead now you of course you go instantly to the person you just found outside with your bloody knife who is your own flesh and blood and he's not even uttering anything to you he's got this blank look on his face he seems to have forgotten how to speak all of a sudden and he's just it's like he's gone you know you could have a whole emotional sequence go on there with the fact that the parents could actually play up to the fact that he wasn't like this earlier so it could instantly just sign it could instantly just signal to you as a viewer like when the police come and they're asked questions by the parents you know he hasn't spoken ever since we got home you know he was he was talking all throughout the day earlier that could raise several questions to you as a viewer now hearing a bit of dialogue like that that there was something within michael that kind of just switched and made him snap but what was it you don't have to get your answer i just think that was something that they could do in a flashback to make it more intriguing and i think there's just so many things that you can establish to make him more curious when he's not speaking and using that to your advantage versus taking advantage of it and switching it up just to have him speak one word two words or full-fledged sentence i think that that's something we don't need to tread on something we need to kind of venture out into we have plenty of characters that can speak on their own let those characters speak let michael myers remain mute let him remain this mysterious mysterious stalker that kills and hunts every halloween um uh, you can shed light on his youth more and I still would love to see a flashback like that. I just don't think that at any point in this movie, no matter what happens with him and Laurie Strode or what happens with anyone that he should speak. We know Sartain tried to get him to speak. And I honestly felt that the head stomp to Sartain was the definitive answer that we're not going to hear him speak in this timeline. But of course, things could change because I also was reminded by you guys that they confirmed Sartain was the one who caused the bus crash in an interview off screen. But again, they can go against that since it was confirmed off screen and it was heavily alluded to that he did it in the film but they could still just switch it up and say Lori caused the bus crash i admittedly am against that i'm against michael myers speaking but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below would you want to hear him speak or not if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and you miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video